you know, how's your anxiety? I know we talked about it last time. How's all that stuff going? Uh, you've been, how, how have you been dealing with it? It depends on which time of day you catch me. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it sort of like, you know, in the mornings it's tough and then in the afternoon it gets there easier. There was one moment and, and it's not, this isn't a sexy story, but anybody who's had like really down moments knows that you somehow at 3 a.m. you end up in a bathroom. Why are you in your bathroom? Why aren't you still just on the couch upset? But I just ended up in my bathroom, in the bathtub, fully clothed. So it's not exciting. No water. I was just in there shaking. Just like, I was totally freaked out. Really? And as I was chatting with my sister, um, I thought to myself, why is it that I end up in the bathroom? She goes, I do the same thing. (laughs) So maybe you could put it out there. When our true anxiety moments, where do you end up? It's just your safe place. It it's your safe place. You get in a bathtub. It sounds like a safe place for an earthquake. <laughs> right? Are you supposed to get in the bathtub during an earthquake or a tornado? What, what are, you, are you ever supposed to get in the bathtub? You're supposed to. Well, there was that movie where they got in the bathtub. It was Lethal Weapon. <laughs> she pulls out what a movie from four, 30 years ago. <laughs> they got in the bathtub and it kept things from exploding on them. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But yeah, so, I do. I do have anxiety, but I'm also working on ways to manage it. Now, look, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I am not like someone who knows everything. That's for sure. But it feels like to me that you got you get anxiety. You're you know you, you're uncomfortable. There's your ups and downs. You go in the bathroom. You're freaking out a little bit. But then you get a job, and everything sorts to dissipate or just. You relax a little more. Is that true? Yeah, I think I think that is true. I don't want to say that it's all based around working, right? But what? But it is based around things that, for example, if somebody said, thinks they have a sense of purpose, right, um, and they can focus all of that intensity somewhere and say, "This is what I'm going to do." So, depending on what you've, how you validated yourself, or what your, what your kind of pattern has been your whole life, if if that's interrupted and changed, then it can create anxiety. So for me, you know, I started working as, as a janitor, um, when I was 10. Wait, and I, wait, wait. I was a waitress. A janitor. I, yeah. Where were you a janitor? My family, we cleaned the, uh, local, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we such hard. No, right? no, no. It's good. I'm just like, wow. At 10 years old, she was doing janitorial things. That's, that, that's yeah. cool. And that's why I'm still a bit of a neat freak. And I can't, I always clean up after myself in movie theaters. Right. Um, so when I was a kid, our family decided we needed to make more money. And so we cleaned a few of the buildings on main street after school and everything. And then I really liked having money. So then I was a waitress at 15, as soon as I could get my card. And then I've been working ever since. And so for me to go from working and then getting kind of, such such a great job on Smallville and then going on to Stephen Hope. Like it was, it, I had this rhythm. This is what I did. I wanted to go out, work, come home, and not spend 10 hours at home. Like, and so it was a bit of a bit difficult not having children, but changing that pattern, right? And redefining myself. 